Hi friends, it's going to be a sitting on the couch day. I want to talk about that skull laying in the rocks that you just clicked on. It's a bit of a clickbait, but I did it for a very good reason and I'll explain that in a minute. First, just a couple of housekeeping notes about my channel. I've enjoyed uh, my new dash cam and I've made some more videos with it. I have actually have a couple of them in the works. One of them is going up and um, driving around in where the other half lives up on top of the hills in Chula Vista. It's a very nice neighborhood and you will really enjoy seeing the houses up there. Um, I've done another video which I'm still editing and I should have it out um, in a week maybe. And that is that there is a new RV park in Chapala. I need to take a break from doing the driving around town in my convertible. Here's why. Look real close. <laughs> I'm, I'm sunburned. <laughs> I gotta stay in the house for a while. <laughs> anyway, today, I, um, I got up this morning and I listened to the news. And one of the stories was about the um, mass shooting in Virginia City, Virginia. And that's disturbing to me. Um, some of the things that go on up there in the United States are just scary to me, and um, I'm sure it is to a lot of people. After watching the news, I sat down on my, uh, to my laptop, and one of the first comments I read was from somebody, and I get these it, it, uh, quite often, um, you are really naive for moving to such a dangerous place as Mexico. Uh, you're just living with your head in the sand. Um, you're just old and you have more money than good sense for moving to Mexico. And this is the one that really got me going. Uh, you are irresponsible for moving to Mexico where your wife is going to be raped. So I have these two things that come at me this morning early. One of them is this horrible thing that has happened in the United States again. And then this comment that accuses me of being naive and irresponsible for living in such a dangerous place as Mexico. And those two ideas just kind of hit my mind together like a traffic accident in my brain. I have backed off from my emotional reaction to that to my uh, intellectual and reason reasoning part of my brain. So <laughs> we're okay. But it has motivated me today to talk about is Mexico dangerous? Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. So, let's get to it. Why do I clickbait you? I clickbait you because I sit down at my computer and I start doing research about uh, how many of the murders, which is what people always concentrate on when they're talking about danger in Mexico, how many of the murders in Mexico are attributed to cartel violence rather than just murders. And the first thing I come up with when I Google it is this picture, and it's from a 2019, February 2019, news story by CNN, and the picture is nine years old. It's a picture of a skull laying in the rocks by Juarez, and my question is, why does CNN have to use a nine-year-old picture to make a point about cartel facts in 2019? The U.S. news clickbaits you all the time, and that's my point. I clickbaited you because I want to make the point that you're always being clickbaited by the news. Now, I'll turn this into not having clickbaited you by giving you some facts about danger in Mexico. As I go through some of this, I want to make a point that there is a difference between perception and opinion and perspective. 
Many people in the United States have the perception that Mexico is a dangerous place. And then there are opinions that Mexico is a dangerous place, and I would agree. There are some parts of Mexico that are a very dangerous place. That's my opinion. And then there is perspective. When you say 33,000 people were murdered in Mexico in 2018, that's a real number, and it's up 16% from the year before 2017, so murders are increasing, cartel wars are getting more and more violent, it's absolutely true, and the perception then is that Mexico is a dangerous place. And if you're in a cartel, or you're a police officer fighting a cartel, Mexico is a very dangerous place. Maybe not all of Mexico, that's another thing. But the perception is that Mexico is a dangerous place, and this leads us to the opinion that Mexico is a dangerous place, but perspective is a different thing. Let me give you some perspective. When you perceive something, that's perception. You look at that singular thing. Perspective means that you compare it to something else. You remember if you went fishing with your dad when you were a kid and then you caught a trout and he st so hold the trout way out in the front so it looks bigger in the picture. That's forced perspective. Well, the news gives you a forced perspective of danger in Mexico. Let's talk about tourism. There are 31 million uh, tourists from the United States in Mexico in a recent year. I think the year was 2016. Um, it was. 2016, 31 million people visited Mexico as tourists from the United States, and 75 of them were killed, murdered. That's the perception. That is statistically one in every 400,000. Here's some perspective. The perception of being killed in Mexico as a tourist is terrible. Here's the perspective. In St. Louis, 240, this is in 2016, in St. Louis, 240 people were murdered out of 400,000. In Baltimore, 220. In Detroit, 176. Remember, we're comparing this to one in Mexico. Washington, D.C., 100. Tijuana, 444. And Juarez, 300. Those are cartel assassinations. What you can draw from those statistics is that you are much safer as a tourist in Mexico, one out of 400,000, than you are living in St. Louis, 240 out of 400,000. That's what I call perspective. In the United States, traffic accident deaths are 1.25 million per year. That's 3,287 deaths from traffic accidents per day in the United States. And I'm not laughing about that. I'm laughing because it's so obvious to me that you're so much safer in Mexico as a tourist than you are riding in your car back where you live in the United States. You're safer many, many times over. Uh, alcohol deaths in the United States, 88,000 per year. So combine those two statistics, if you uh, drink and drive, forget about the statistics, you're just dead. So remember this, perception, opinion, perspective. Here's some more perception, and it's true, these are, these are actual statistics. Um, in 2018, 33,341 people were murdered in Mexico. And in 2017, 28,866. And 2019 is shaping up to be 
um, an increase again in the number of people murdered in Mexico. That's a perception that makes for a very bad, uh, dangerous situation in Mexico. Uh, most of that is cartel violence. It's concentrated in a number of places. The worst places are Tijuana, Juarez, Cabo San Lucas, and Acapulco. Uh, those places have a greater incidence of violent murder than most cities in the United States. But if you take those out of the crime statistic, the murder statistic of 33,000 people killed in 2018, you are going to be left with a murder rate lower than most cities in the United States. Let's get some more perspective. I got these figures from Numio, one of my go-to places for statistics. It's an online um, website that uh, keeps track and assimilates surveys and statistics about all different kinds of things from all over the world and compares countries. And I've compared uh, Mexico to the United States, not because I'm picking on the United States. I love the United States. For over 200 years, the United States has been the greatest country on the face of the earth. And for those of you who are always questioning, well, why are so many Mexicans moving to the United States? First of all, they're not. And secondly, what's the mystery? The United States is a wonderful place to be. Why wouldn't people want to come to the United States? Stop asking me that question. 135 million Mexicans are not coming to the United States and don't want to. As a matter of fact, while we're there talking about that statistic, there are 1.5 million less illegal Mexicans in the United States than there was four years ago. Look it up. Crime levels, general crime levels, here's perspective. Mexico has 2% more total crime than the United States. And I would contend that if you take cartel violence and murders out of those statistics and you add in white collar crime, which is generally not included in those statistics in the United States, like uh, Bernie Madoff and um, uh, Wells Fargo signing people up for services they didn't want and uh, people paying for uh, other people to take their kids' SAT uh, tests so they can get into better colleges. If you add all that stuff back in, crime rates in the United States are rampant compared to Mexico. But overall, for reported crime, 2% more in Mexico. Opiate use. Um, United States, six times more than Mexico. Murders with firearms, 33% more in the United States than Mexico, and I'm surprised that it's that low. Rape rate, and this is the one that got me going this morning, when somebody said I was irresponsible for bringing my wife to uh, a place where she's going to be raped. The rape rate in Mexico is ranked 18th in the world. Uh, number one is worse. Um, the United States is ranked ninth. There are two times more rapes in the United States per 100,000 people than in Mexico. So maybe I was really uh, doing my wife a great service to bring her from the United States to Mexico with regard to her chances of being raped. Total crimes per 1,000 people in Mexico, 14. In the United States, 41. Um, Mexico is ranked 46th in the world, and the United States is ranked 22nd in the world. And remember, lower numbers are worse. So, uh, total crimes per 1,000 people, the United States is three times more dangerous than Mexico. Violent crime, intentional homicide. 15 in Mexico to 5 in the United States. So Mexico is ranked three times higher for intentional homicide than the United States. And that's the statistic that gives everybody the perception that Mexico is a dangerous place. And it's the one that I have to talk about the most because it's the one that's the least accurate perception. 
which leads people to the most erroneous opinion. And the perspective is that if you take out the cartel violence and the border towns and the high tourist areas, Mexico is safer than the United States. Burglaries. Mexico ranked 46th, the United States ranked 9th. 35 times more burglaries than in Mexico. And that's per population, it's not total. I believe that one of the reasons for that is because of the drug, opiate, and um, fentanyl use in the United States. I recently read, and I think it was in May, the New York Times, fentanyl has become the leading cause of death for people under 55 in the United States. Let me say that again. Fentanyl use is the leading cause of death for people under 55 in the United States. And how that relates to what I just said is that they steal, they burglarize people in order to get money to feed their habit. That's the dynamic. Robberies. Uh, and the difference between burglary and robbery is that robbery uh, involves a firearm and people being there. Uh, three times more in the United States than in Mexico. Fear of hate crimes. Uh, Mexico is ranked 78th in the world and the United States is ranked 31st in the world. So there's 89% more fear of hate crime in the United States than in Mexico. I sat in an office waiting room a couple of months ago with a lady of color who had just moved here from San Diego. And she made a comment that really struck me in our conversation. What she said was, it was so wonderful to be living here in Mexico where she was just a person and not a person of color. Assaults. Uh, Mexico ranked 20th. The United States is ranked first in the world for assault. Four times more than Mexico. Auto theft. Uh, Mexico is ranked 22nd. The United States is ranked 6th. There are three times more auto thefts in the United States than in Mexico. And again, these statistics are based upon either 1,000 or 100,000 population. They're not based upon the fact that there are more in the United States because there are three and a half million, uh, 350 million people in the United States and 135 million people in Mexico, the ratio of there being about one to three. That's not what's going on here with these statistics. These statistics are per a number of population. They're not totals when they're ranked. That's what I got for today. Crime, when it happens, is terrible. And I don't want to be the one who says, oh, you should move to Mexico because it's safer than the United States. And then something happens to you and it's Jerry's fault. Don't put that on my shoulders. But don't live with your head in the sand. And don't be afraid. There are bad people in the world. Just be aware. Thanks for watching. Hey, if you like me, give me one of those thumbs up. And please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today.